Hi, I'm Helen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is your yoga for knees and ankles. So we're going to be doing a few things to really help to strengthen, mobilize and protect our knees and our ankles in a range of ways. We'll also be working on some balance and throughout the rest of the body as well. Grab yourself a block if you have one. No worries if you don't though. And we'll get started on our back. So come and lie down with, uh, you could use the block, we don't have to use the block. So we're going to take a few bridge lifts to start with. Now, ankles under knees, really press the feet down, start to lift the hips up and down. Now you can either imagine you're holding that block in between your knees or you can actually score it there. We're just going to take a few, maybe four or five. See if you can feel that connection between the feet and the glutes as your feet press down and you think about squeezing the thighs, the glutes switch on. So important for protecting our knees and our ankles. Good. So you could either take a few more or we're going to go into some single lifts. So take the block out. Lifting the hips up, bring one knee in towards the chest, and then from there, lower, lift, lower, lift. Now, what we want is to keep that balancing leg, knee steady, not wobbling side to side. And we want to keep the pelvis steady and level. So if you need a bit of work on that, then focus on the, the regular bridge first before Practicing these single leg lifts. One more. Down. I'm going to switch sides. So lifting the hips first, bringing that other knee in, and then going ahead and not moving too quickly. Moving with control. Really pressing the foot, engaging the glutes. Good, last one, coming down, hug both knees in towards your chest, mm. walk a little bit side to side, stretch it out, and then rock or roll all the way up, so actually coming to stand, take your time there, <laughs> and from standing, feet hip width, we're going to drop the hips down, bending into the knees. Press the feet, draw them apart. So this is really similar to the bridge pose, actually. We're gonna take the, a few chair lifts here, up and down. I use these in so many classes because they have so many different benefits. But so good at strengthening the glutes. And that's what we want for healthy ankles and knees. Okay, so from here, come to stand for a moment. You can either take a few more or we're going to do some single leg chair lifts. So I like to bend the knees fast. You can either have hands to the, the hips, cinch in through the belly, or hands to the chest. Come on to the toes, lift. And exactly, in exactly the same way as the bridge, we want to keep this balancing leg and knee really steady in the center there. It's quite useful to do this in front of a mirror so you can see if that balancing knee is dipping in or not. Good. And switch sides. And we want to be able to confidently do the single leg bridge lifts before these single leg chair lifts. Good. Coming up, take a reach. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Now step your right toes all the way back and bring that knee to the floor. Not too far away from you, coming up there, finding this. Short, 
not too deep, lunge. Square here within the leg. Now press the balancing foot and knee down. Hug the front hip back. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, arms back, chest forward. Tuck the back toes. Inhale, lift the back knee. Coming up. Exhale, tipping forwards. Now inhale, sliding forwards and bring that right knee up to balance, reaching up. If the balance feels too much, then you can keep the toes on the floor. Now exhale back the way we came. Drop that back knee down. Inhale, reach the arms, press the feet down. So we wanna build strength in that foot. Lift that front inner arch. Keep that front knee drawing out a little bit. Exhale, arms back, heart forward, lift the back knee. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward. And again, you can drag the foot or you can step it up. Right knee lifts. Exhale back. We're going to do one more. Pausing here in the lunge. You can keep the hands on the hips if you prefer. If you're having trouble or not sure if you're engaging this inner arch, imagine you want to scrunch up your mat underneath your foot, and that is going to help to do that. Good. Exhale, high lunge. Forwards. Now, as we come forwards, keep the pelvis level, so go slowly, slow, 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 maybe tap the knees, and then go into stand, and then land and take a little pause. Notice what you feel, that balancing leg, left leg should have been working a lot. You should feel that in the glutes. Second side, back to our chair. Our exhale, fold. Slide the left toes back. Knee comes down, inhale, reach up. Hugging front hip back, to hip back again. So we're keeping this lunge very active, quite high. Pressing the foot, spreading the toes. And exhale, arms back, lift, coming up. Exhale, forwards. Using the core then to slide forwards. Maybe lift the knee and back the way we came. Lowering down. So strengthening the feet, the legs, the hips, and the core, all crucial to the health and stability of our ankles and knees. One more here. And on this last one, we're going to go even slower and maybe even pause as we tap the knees, the inner knees there. Pelvis stays level as much as we can. Maybe up to the chest. And exhale, land. Folding forwards. Walk back into downward facing dog. And then land the knees, come and take a seat, stretch the legs out in front. And if it's comfy to do so, just widen the knees, bring the soles of the feet together, but in this long sort of diamond shape. Great for just stretching out a bit around the back of the hips here to finish. And then leaning back, doing one more. So let's come back onto our forearms, cross one ankle over the other thigh, and lift the chest, 
flex the toes back. We have this nice figure four shape with the legs. Switching sides. And then come onto your back and you might like to actually repeat that this time interlacing the hands behind the back of the thigh taking the weight out of the feet and the legs. Getting that nice release around the glutes. Five nice full breaths. And then switch sides. And just allowing yourself to wind down. And then you could lengthen the legs out, give them a shake, feet and legs shake out. Hmm. Lie back and unwind. Take a rest for a minute or two. So I'll leave you there. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know how you got on. It's a great one to do regularly or some great things there to think about maybe when you incorporate them into a longer class. I have a couple of great longer classes I can share with you just below. Do let me know how you get on. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again next time.